Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Looky what I've got, a brand new Dark Core RGB Pro gaming mouse from Corsair. All right, so out of the box it is. There's a connector, charging cable, and uh, first let me look at the back of the box here. So the highlights here, uh, you've got three ways to connect. So you got Slipstream wireless, Bluetooth, or USB wired. 18,000 DPI optical sensor, optimized for wireless mice. Incredibly fast and responsive hyper-pulling technology up to 2,000 hertz. Easy to use reversible USB-C connector and contoured shape with two included interchangeable side grips. So we'll have to check out all those different features. Of course, with gaming mice, headphones, keyboards, gaming chairs, things like that, they're always very subjective when you see reviews. You see some people that really like stuff and some people that hate it, depending upon your experience. But something with a texture to it, like a mouse, a shape and a form, that's really subjective. And uh, I can tell you this has a really nice finish to it. You got the normal left and right mouse buttons there. The wheel has the button and then there's a button here. And there are two sort of off to the side of the left mouse button and then all the way on the edge here there are two more buttons. But uh, has a nice texture there. I don't know how well it shows up. Sort of a bumpy texture, almost like the surface of a golf ball almost. And then the charging port, or the port for the USB cable is right there, at the front of the mouse. There's this protective plastic over it. I'll leave that on for the moment. But it overall looks pretty standard. It doesn't have any of the funky shapes that you see on some gaming mice. A neat feature here are these interchangeable, uh, is the interchangeable side grip here. So let me peel this protective plastic section off there. I really don't need that anymore. Anyway, this whole side panel here on the right side of the mouse, this just pops right off. So you can see it's made to pop on and off. And what you can do, you've got this little replacement, pops right in there. Now you have a rest for your pinky or your third finger there, however you grip the mouse, whatever's, whichever is more comfortable. And uh, this easily pops back off. But another cool thing is right here, there's a little pocket to store your little wireless transmitter receiver. You can just pop that in there. So when you're not using it, you can keep from losing it. Just like that. That's kind of a nice idea. I like that. So I'll have to try it out with this little... Uh, I'll try it with and without this, see if I notice any real difference. And then looking at the bottom, here's your switch to go between... There's your power, so you either go Bluetooth or wireless. You can switch between the modes there. But what is interesting here, I like this, you've got one, two, three, four, five zones, or five pads. That's your little frictionless pad that the mouse slides on. So now I'm going to go ahead and power this up. So this has the reversible USB connector there. And for now, I'm going to plug it in just to a little five volt phone charger. just to power it up and see what it looks like. Ah, there we go. Of course, the RGB is in the name, so there you go with the RGB effects. And I know some people say we've been RGB'd to death, but I have to say I really like it. Now, this all goes with the IQ software, so we'll take a run through that here in a little bit. So I fired up the IQ software, and after I plugged the mouse in, there was a little message down here that told me that the firmware was ready for an update. 
So I hit the little yellow update button there and it is in the process of updating the firmware. And as I mentioned earlier, there are three ways to connect it with the USB cable, uh, Bluetooth over here on the right, and then you can move the switch over to wireless. And I connected this to a couple different computers, actually three, only two of them had Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth connected uh, on the first computer, on the first try, the second computer, it took a couple tries. Uh, wireless, it connects instantly. And of course, with the cable, it also connects instantly. All right, so after you get the IQ software uh, installed on your system, if it isn't already, it will detect whatever IQ compatible products. So right now I'm using this case by Corsair, the uh, Spec Omega RGB, and then of course here is the Dark Core Pro USB mouse. And it shows you that it is in USB mode. So I double click on that and it brings up the mouse. You can see all these different settings uh, on the side here. One is uh, you can change your DPI. You've got all these settings down here. You can play around with it and see how the mouse performs based on what you like. Uh, over here you can set up your different effects and then you can define what happens with each zone, what it does. So this one here is Rainbow Wave, there's Color Pulse. Uh, you can customize stuff too with this. There's visor, and I'll show you here exactly what that does. So there's the visor effect. You can see you've got some effects down here too. And if we go over here and switch again, and again, you can also customize the colors. It's just like if you've ever fooled with uh, this IQ software, you really have quite a range of customization. Here's a rainbow wave. So there you get an idea of those effects. So again, you can play with all the effects. Uh, if you've got a Corsair keyboard that works with IQ or, or other components, uh, you can get in there and synchronize these things. It's a lot of fun to play with. Up here in the settings, this is where you can look at the firmware for the mouse, see if it's been updated or not. Of course, it's already been updated. Uh, there's also, um, you can see if it's charging the battery status up here. You can enable sleep mode enable battery gauge in the system taskbar so you can turn that on to monitor uh, the battery and here's USB uh, wireless receiver pairing you can go ahead and initiate that of course this particular computer I don't have any of that uh, available but anyway there are just so many different things you can customize uh, within this IQ software and another nice thing that I really like about it and I always say this, let's see if I can get back to the IQ. Here we go. If you get to the main page here, you click on the bottom and it will bring up a series of YouTube videos showing you how to use the IQ software. Because I could spend an hour or two just talking about all the different ways to uh, control it. Another cool feature with this mouse is you can calibrate it to different surfaces. Now I'm not using a mouse pad here, but different mouse pad surfaces can affect the way your mouse behaves. So you can calibrate it and you do that with the IQ software. But first you have to use the USB cable in order to do the calibration. So you come over here, you click on the mouse, and then you come over to surface calibration and you get this screen. And what you're trying to do is grab this little dot here and you spin it around in circles while you watch the speedometer there. And if I can keep my arm steady. You do this whole process here, making these circles. Whoop, there we go. Okay, so now it says the calibration process is complete, and that's all you do. All right, technical details. The battery is a lithium polymer. It is rechargeable. As far as battery life goes, uh, when you use the 2.4 gigahertz slipstream wireless, you can get up to 16 hours 
with standard lighting and up to 36 hours without the backlighting uh, turned on. Bluetooth. You can go up to 18 hours with standard lighting and up to 50 hours without backlighting. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of the battery life. The sensor is a PixArt PAW3392 optical sensor resolution 100 to 18,000 DPI with one DPI steps. Onboard profiles, you can have up to three. The backlight uh, is nine zone RGB. There are eight buttons. USB report rate is 1000 to 2000 Hertz. The mouse feet are PTFE, which is uh, another name for Teflon. The cable is 1.8 meters, which is about six feet braided and fixed. The software that is supported is IQ. The dimensions, uh, basically really what you're looking for is the weight, which is 133 grams, which is about 0.31 pounds. That's without the cable or any accessories. And the warranty is two years. Some of the other fun technical information here is the Omron switches that are inside are rated for more than 50 million clicks. That's a lot of clicks and I am not going to test that. I'm going to assume that that is an accurate number. Some other information here, the optical sensor, which is that little guy uh, right in there, is uh, capable at reporting the position of the cursor at speeds up to 450 inches per second with a mouse acceleration up to 50 G. So that's, that's pretty fast. So you can really slide this mouse back and forth and you're not gonna lose track of where the cursor is. Now the hyper polling technology that Corsair uses, uh, let me take a step back. Most normal mice, computer mice, have a polling rate of uh, 125 to 500 hertz. That means about every uh, second you get 125 to 500 times that the information is being transferred from your mouse to your PC, which is fine for normal uh, desktop use, normal PC use. But gaming, where you really have to keep track of where the cursor is, uh, you need more. So most wireless gaming mice uh, communicate from 125 up to 1000 hertz, which uh, the polling interval there really translates to between eight milliseconds to one millisecond. However, the Dark Core RGB Pro actually polls at a very high 2000 hertz. That means 2000 data packets are reported every second or every half millisecond. That means that all of your information is going between the mouse at a very fast rate. So out of the box, it's set to 1000, but through the IQ software, you can get in there and tweak it a little bit and you can get up to 2000 Hertz. And these three LEDs right here, uh, the color and the number of LEDs that are on and the sequence that they flash in tell you what's basically going on with the mouse. So they tell you battery charging status, the condition of the battery, for example, uh, when it's charging, it will be pulsing green. Uh, when the battery needs to be recharged, it'll be pulsing red. If the battery is medium, it'll be blinking amber. So the battery condition can be uh, quickly and visually uh, checked on or verified there with these LEDs. Also, the LEDs tell you the status of your wireless connectivity uh, between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, these two buttons right here are your DPI up and down buttons. So you hit those to cycle your dot per inch rate up or down. And then the center button here, this changes your profile. So you can hit this and you can get your different profiles there. And then right in here is the indicator. That's your battery status indicator. Of course, we're all good and charged up right now. But I can ramble on and on about all the things these LEDs do. Uh, it's all in the instruction manual, so you can refer to that. Anyway, so really what it comes down to for me is how did I like the mouse? How did it perform? How did it feel? Well, this here is my old Logitech G600. I've used this thing for quite a few years. You can see how it's shiny there. And uh, it's, it's worn quite well over the years. Anyway, you can see it's considerably different, the shape. So honestly, it took me a little while to get used to it because it has this third button off to the side. So you got one, two, three mouse buttons and it kind of supports this third finger off to the side here. And you get used to that feel. You get used to these buttons on the side. Of course, I never used more than two of these because 
when I tried to program them, I could never find the right button fast enough to do what it was supposed to. So cool idea, but I never really used it. Anyway, when I come over to the Corsair mouse, it feels very different. It feels more like a traditional mouse, uh, but this one fit my hand and this one still fits my hand. But I found that I was more comfortable when I added the side rest here as opposed to the flat one here that doesn't have any uh, support. Uh, this is okay, but I actually prefer uh, the other one here. I got used to having uh, support for that third finger on this old G600, so I found I was more comfortable with that. Overall, I'm really happy with the mouse. It feels good. Operation is smooth. I had no problem setting it up. You can spend a lot of time in the Corsair IQ software really customizing the lighting profiles, the macros, tweaking things. Uh, connectivity, fast and easy with wireless. Same with Bluetooth if your system is configured that way. Great little mouse. Retail pricing right now is around $79, which uh, is not too bad, I don't think. You know, you can buy a mouse for 10 bucks. It's not gonna do anything like this one will. But this, of course, is designed for people who do gaming. And you want a mouse that's fast and reliable and is not covered with too many buttons that are overwhelming, and this one really isn't. Uh, again, overall, I'm really happy with it. So I would give this the Overclockers Club Editor's Choice Award. So you need to check this out. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.